Okay, Scott here. We are back with our favorite Sierra game, at least for the time being, Gold Rush. We are done, fortunately, with any attempt to move out west. There is no other mode of transportation, no giant slingshot, no hot air balloon, uh, no trans teleportation, no anything else. We, we have, we've exhausted it all, at least for this game's purposes. So, um, we are here at the fort, fortunately. Let's take a look at what's going on in the fort. I know I left you hanging the first time with the stagecoach, and we have come here three times. I am actually continuing. I, I did fib a little. I am actually continuing from the cape version, the one we just finished up, instead of the coach version, just because we have full points right now. Uh, and I don't think, um, it really makes any difference at all. Uh, we're in the same place right now. Everything comes together regardless of where you came from, or at least how you came here. I guess we all came from we came from Brooklyn regardless. Anyway, let's go into the fort, and uh, I think we'll spend this video just kind of exploring it. We'll, we'll play a little bit uh, uh, unstructured in this one, maybe. Um, just so. Okay, so we are kind of donning the uniform that we had, and I don't know, I guess it's supposed to be sort of... Um, uh, just dirty clothes or something. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but we have the uniform you have the whole time when you're on the stagecoach. But if you recall from our two journeys on the ships, we actually were dressed pretty clean cut, so uh, I'm not sure what happened. And we were actually continuing from the ship one, so I'm not sure what happened to poor uh, uh, Jared. But that's the uniform we have now. The lazy guard takes one look at you and says, you look as green as grass, stranger. I imagine you just pulled into the fort. Let me give you a few pointers. You're welcome to take a tour of the fort, but there are only a few folks still hanging around here. Most folks have gone to the hills to look for gold. They hurried off and left their belongings unattended, but you ain't going to find nothing useful. Seems like the only things of any use these days is a gold pan, a shovel, a lantern, and a trusty mule. Sounds like advice that we might need some of those things. Sadly, we don't have a lot of money on us, so um, we'll have to uh, find out what to do. Oh, looks like uh, we can just walk in. And one of the things about some of these Sierra games, the old ones where you can walk into areas, but the the screen doesn't really shift, is that okay? You don't need anything here. Uh, the um, that's kind of funny. You can just walk into his place. See if there's anything in here. Just an empty room. Okay. Um, anyway, the, sometimes you can walk into rooms or something and actually get stuck. I actually did that at the stagecoach stable. Uh, if you go into the guy's office, you can get stuck. This is kind of cool, too, that you can just walk into these rooms, even though you can't see much. You don't need anything here. So I think all the closed doors are pretty much the same. You don't need anything. This is John Augustus Sutter's... Um, I guess it's Sutter's Fort. I assume it's named after him. All right, we're at the blacksmith's shop. Whew, it's steaming in here. There's a fire roaring, some metal glowing, and a blacksmith sweating. Leaning against the wall is a branding iron. Let's talk to the man. Hang on there, fellow. I'll be right with you. Can't you see, man, that I'm as busy as a one-armed uh, paper hanger with an itch? If you'd excuse me, a biscuit getting back to my work. Hold on there, son. You mean from the parts around, say, New York, would you be? Yes, we are. You would be from Brooklyn, would you? We indeed are. Your last name ain't by chance, uh, uh, during it, uh, uh, Wilson? Yeah, that's it. Uh, or, yeah, first name wouldn't be, uh, uh, shoot, uh, uh, Jared? That's it, and you got a brother named uh Dagburn it uh uh Jake. Well I'll be, I can't believe it. Lean over here, uh uh young fellow, and listen to me close. And this is a memorization test, so if you do play the game, remember that your name is Jared Wilson and it's spelled kinda of odd, it's not J A R E D I believe, or Jarrett, it's Jared J A R R E D, I believe. Which no, that would mean E. Uh, it has an E instead of an A, right? <laughs> now I'm, I have to embarrass myself yet again. Anyway, in any event, I did remember for the purposes... It, it does have an E, but for the purposes of um, talking to the guy. Remember, your last name is Wilson, and remember, your brother is Jake. If you kind of just fly through things like I have a tendency to do, you could get stuck on this part. I don't know if you get another chance. You may have to restore. So, um, something to keep in mind. All right, I can't be talking too loud about these kind of things. 
I got a message for you from your brother. I ain't got no notion of his whereabouts. All I got is a message. He wants you to know that in these parts he's known as uh, uh he's known as uh James. That's it, James. He won't tell nobody of his whereabouts, but you gave me this to give you. Ain't got no idea what it's fur, but he wants uh, me to give it to you. The soot covered blacksmith hands you a branding iron. Now you know you're on the right trail to find your brother. He must be on to something big, really big. Why would we uh, make that inference? <laughs> because he gives us a branding iron? Maybe he just wants to see us. Or I mean, why would it be particularly big? I don't know. Maybe I'm asking too many questions. Anyway, let's um, look here. The gunsmith saw it. It's exciting, but necessary stop on your tour of the fort. You don't need anything here. There's actually a point where you might actually have wanted a gun, but I guess you don't get a gun, so. And I, I won't go into all these things, because I don't think there's anything here. This is a bunk room for the hired hands. They've gone and taken everything with them. You don't need anything here. So I think it's pretty much a tip. If the door is closed, it's kind of a nice feature. I think it's kind of cool, even though it's kind of weird that you could break into anywhere in the fort. Um, this is the hat and boot shop for the fort. You've got a hat and you've got boots. You don't need anything here. Okay, I'm not going to look at the rest of them. I just want to, to look at two of them. Just to... All right. Well, who's this fellow? I'm a man that watches over all these fine mules, says the man. All right, so I think we can actually get one of them at some point. But um, I don't think now is the time to get it. Okay. So, like I promised you, or at least told you, that we're just doing a walking tour of the inside of the fort. Not a huge fort, obviously, but like I said, I do kind of like the details that um, that there is. It's the most fermented place in the fort. It's the brewery. You don't need anything here. Yeah, okay. It seems like to be a common theme. I got quite a few shops in this fort, I have to say. Alright, so that's just a supply room. I do think there's actually one closed door up here that may be of some importance just because it has the antler head on top. no administrator. Okay, so I apologize. That was just an administrator's uh, location. Okay, we're back out to the front. Now, I believe there is one area that we still have to go to where you can actually get something of some note. Yeah, so I'm not going to go through every door. We're, we are coming up a little bit close to the time. Uh, like I said, this whole video is pretty much just a tour of the fort. Not a tour de force, a tour de fort. Um, Sorry. And there's a graveyard out there. We have, do have to go there eventually, but let's hold off for now. Now, there are some blocks and stuff here. Does that mean that we actually have something to do here? Or this is the cabinet shop. All right, we do not need any cabinets. That, that's one thing, I'm sure. Let's see what's on that sign. Read sign. Trade in store. All right. Is this the trade in store? Okay. So I think this is one we actually have to be in. The clerk grins and says, I can tell by the way you talk. You're new to these parts. What can I do for you? By pan? I think we need... There are a few pans left, but I'm not giving them away. You're going to have to give me some gold in one form or another if you want to take anything out of this store. We do have the gold flake, and we do have the gold coin. Can we get away with just a flake? The clerk chuckles and said, I see you're fresh on the frontier. A gold flake like that will get you nothing. Perhaps you have something else. Give coin. Because, okay, I'll take a gold coin. And here's your gold pan. I wish you the best of luck. I think we can actually trade it for a shovel or something else later, too, or a lantern. I think this is kind of one of the things we have to go back and forth. If you ever played uh, King's Quest VI, I think it works like that, where you get to um, trade in your items repeatedly. 
and use them in different areas. Read sign, just open, coming in, okay. Well, that's all the time we have for this so portion. We uh, got a little bit of a tour, and there's actually a decent amount to do here, so it should take us a few videos to finish up this leg of um, the journey, and then there'll probably be a, one more sort of area, I guess, before we close things out. So for uh, now, uh, take care, and we'll see you next video.